Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I am here with a video for my next swap. It's going to be entitled, The Turned Up Gift Set Swap. And what I mean by that is, if you knew about the gift set swap from last year, or you participated, you know the requirements were three pieces of lace or trim at a foot and a half, a fabric or lace or paper flower, and two stick pins, which was an awesome swap. If you didn't get a chance to watch the videos, I will put those in the description box. You guys can check out if you're on the fence about joining this swap. Now, this one, because I love the gift set swap and how smoothly it went and how excellent everybody packaged their stuff, I wanted to do it again because it's one of my favorites. But this time, I'm turning it up a little bit, dialing it up. That means we're going to do the same things. We're just going to switch it up a little bit. So this will, um, all of the information will be on my blog, scraptheworld.blogspot.com. I'll put that in the description box so you guys can check it out. If I'm zooming past this too fast, you can read it over there. Um, if you have any questions, also leave them below. Now for this swap, there'll be two themes. There'll be the vintage and the shabby chic group. So you can join one or the other. And there will be four people per group. So you'll have to make three sets. The swap will close. Open today. It'll close on Friday. The groups will be posted on my blog on Saturday. So it will be up to you to know that you have to check the blog on Saturday to make sure, one, you're in the group that you want to be in, and two, who your other fellow group mates are so once you sign up below I will confirm that you're in it that means you're in it and please swap and then on Saturday um, you'll know you know what your groups are and make sure that you're in your vintage or your shabby chic theme so the group the swap will close um, as soon as we get enough participants so it may be earlier than Friday but it just and when we get enough I'll close it but the latest it'll be closed is Friday so with that being said what you'll be doing for this particular swap is sending me three sets of your theme, Shabby Chic or Vintage, the turned up gift set. So it, you will have to make um, a tag, an alter tag. So this is just an example of how mine is, turned, um, how mine is uh, packaged a little bit. So you have to create a tag. Um, nothing dimensional on this tag. Just a stamped, sprayed, inked, distressed tag so but it still has to just be a regular you know something nothing naked on this tag so stamp it like I said stamp it ink it distress it or what have you um but the turned up part is you have to look at this take this out here you have to decorate the top so here's my laces I'm doing this all discombobulated so here's my laces wrapped around my tag and I wrapped them on here pretty good I guess so here's my stamped image as an example and then you have to do something to the top whether you add lace or string seam binding or trim or hang a charm something has to be at the top um, of this tag still has to be just a flat image um, here or flat tag here but just decorate the top with whatever you choose to decorate it with so that's how that tur is turned up and then for the lace you can only use lace or trim Please, no ribbon, you know, nothing that you wouldn't want to get yourself. Um, so make sure it's lace or trim and, you know, send some good stuff, something that you would want to receive. And then you have to do two feet of three. So two feet, three pieces of three different laces or trims. And um, you can wrap that around the tag or however you want to package it. But I wrapped mine around the tag. Okay. And then for the um, flower example so I have this just back on some pretty paper and then I added some texture paste to it and stuff like that so that's kind of cute but for your flower it has to be a fabric flower so no paper this time and there's few tutorials on how to create fabric flowers I'll put a link to the two that I did um, showing you how to make the two fabric flowers that I made but you have to have a fabric flower and this one is two and a half inches wide so that's how the flower part is turned up so no paper just fabric this will push you so if you have never made one get ready this is going to be such a fun swap and finally for the embellishment component of the gift set swap okay I really like this part now you can do whatever embellishment you want for your swap you can but you have to have a pair so 
if you want to still do the stick pans that's fine you want a healthy stick pan you want you know a good amount of beads and spacers and caps and things like that on your stick pan not just you know you don't want to just stick this in there and call it a stick pan okay you guys know how to do it so this is what an example would be of a turned up stick pin for me so it's, a, it's an acceptable and you want to make it a pair and of course you want to make sure it coordinates with everything else okay so let's just say you don't want to do stick pins because you did stick pins last time or whatever An another option is you can alter some spools let's say you want to do some dangles on some spools I got these off of eBay you want to do two of these tiny ones for my roll you just have to do a pair you know you have to work at it do your pair so say you don't want to do um you know that you can have the option of doing um some art tiles so let's say you want to alter some tiles turn it up a little bit add some charms to the bottom of it so this would be my um set if i was going to do if this is what i was sending out which i'm not this is just an example so my set would look something like this if i was in the shabby sheet group see Q O M a tag. You guys get it. Okay. So we got the stick pans. You could do altar tiles. You can do spools. Um, there's another tile. Here's a vintage theme one. And I just hung them on here because I had one I thought they were cute. But I would do two of those. And um, you can alter, let's see, you can alter a thimble. You know, you have to do two, two thimbles, a bobbin from your sewing machine. That's just some more stick pins that I did. Um, that's, you know, the possibilities are in, endless. You can do alter bottle caps, alter dominoes. Um, uh, anyway, you guys know, just bring it. You know what I mean? You, you can work your embellishments. So let's say you want to do vintage. There's a vintage color flower. And shabby sheet colors, just to give you just a little bit of, of a tip, um, they're light pastel. So your light pinks, your light blues, your faint, your mint greens, your whites, you know, light pastel-y, like Easter colors, sort of. Um, and a vintage would be your creams, your browns, your tans, that kind of colors, those kind of colors. So I want you guys to put your all into it. Go outside your creative box. Um, give something that you would love to receive back and you know let me see how you guys package them up and I, I'm, I'm excited you guys did an awesome job last time those who participated be sure to check out those videos too so you can get an idea and I hope you guys will join so the information will be at the blog um, um, on Saturday for the, the information will be at the blog now when this video is posted but on Saturday your groups will be posted so I'll confirm once you've said you want to be in a group down below I'll confirm that you're in so it's up to you to check the blog at the, after that point another note for shipping uh, because these vary I know that um, we've been having some um, shipping things with pre-stamped images and uh, pre-stamped stamps or digital imaging so we don't want any any of those predated stamps uh, because the post office aren't taking those and i think it's so much easier if we do the gift set swap return it priority so you can send it to me any way that you want as long as it is postmarked by april 5th forgot to mention that um you have until April 5th to get these postmarked if you're going to participate um, as long as it's postmarked by April 5th um, send them to me anyway snail mail you prefer but on the return coming back so that I can package them all up and we don't have to worry about you didn't send enough stamps you didn't send any stamps or your know, PayPal and it's so much easier for this particular swap because it may be thicker than we um, it, what you get back may be thicker than what you send we're gonna do priority so you would send five dollars and sixty cents in cash you would PayPal me five dollars and sixty cents or you could send five dollars and sixty cents in postage so it's up to you but it's all coming back priority so if you're a little um, apprehensive about shipping and sending it back priority maybe you want to um, not do this particular swap because for this one I think it's best with the sh with the shipping variances on the return part that we do priority so with that being said check the blog I'll see you guys later hopefully you'll join this is gonna be fun bye <laughs>